Hello, Raleigh. This is Whitney for Raleigh. I'm coming to you today to talk about an article in the News and Observer. Raleigh, Raleigh's proposed budget has tax increase for parks, raises for city workers. Well, I want to give my perspective on a uh, 10% tax increase that they're putting out there right now for city uh, for the city for pro uh, property taxes. Number one, uh, we did vote for the parks bond. Uh, there was in the fine print on that, a tax rate increase would be levied to pay for these bonds. And just for future reference, uh, these tax increases never go away, even after the bonds are paid off. So for the future, just keep that in perspective because there's always going to be new bonds being put out there for a vote. And they always have a tax rate increase associated with them. The second thing is that our city workers, first responders definitely need to be paid more money. We're not competitive right now with other outer line uh, locales like uh, Cary and Apex. So we do need to give an increase to our workers because of inflation, frankly. Uh, inflation has driven up costs uh, pay increases uh, are coming about. It's becoming uh, very competitive in the labor market. And uh, plus our first responders and our city workers deserve to be paid well uh, in order to be able to, uh, uh, you know, compensate them for the work that they do for the city. Here's the problem. Uh, the reason why we need to pay them more is because of inflation. Uh, and our tax revenues are going to be going up because of inflation, regardless of a tax rate increase. So what I would say is a properly managed city budget should be able to give a raise to our city employees without raising the tax rate 10%. In other words, revenues are going to go up because of inflation and we should be able to pay our city workers more because of that. Now, the third thing is this. Right now, we have lots of corporations moving into the area. I'm pro-growth. I think growth's a great thing. Only what we're doing right now is giving away Raleigh, or let's say Raleigh is a, a product, and it's a really great product. And we're giving that away for free to these corporations with big tax breaks. These tax breaks are like seven year tax breaks. Uh, companies like Apple come in, uh, they're making incredible profits. Uh, they get to come into Raleigh for free, uh, but we raise the taxes on our local folks to pay for things like the infrastructure and the additional expenses for these companies coming in and then don't see any tax revenues on this for seven years. I don't think that's really fair. Not everyone benefits in Raleigh from companies like Apple and pharmaceutical companies, all these various companies that are coming in. Not everyone ver uh, benefits. And certainly a, a lot of uh, businesses locally and, and people do benefit from it. And obviously the people who are moving in the area benefit from it, but not everyone benefits. I just believe that the corporations should pay their fair share so that the citizen at large does not get unduly, uh, you know, sanctioned with things like this tax, 10% uh, tax increase on property values. So I'm Whitney for Raleigh. I appreciate you watching this video. And um, definitely uh, please come back and uh, see us again.